So today we're super pumped because we're not just gonna show you a tour from one full-time RVer, but we're gonna show you a tour from two full-time RVers. actually just sort of an outside the RV tour, which I, before you change the channel, this is the kind of stuff you've never seen before, especially on a travel trailer. I know I've never seen this. Uh, Finding Our Sunday's pulling in and they have decked out <laughs> their travel trailer with stuff from Lippert that uh, you just, you've got to check this out. Who's, uh, whose trailer do you still hear? It's like part fifth wheel, part travel trailer. <laughs> we got an auto leveling system now, so. Oh my goodness. We can hang out again. <laughs> What are you gonna do with all the extra time, man? Most, mostly, it's, it's it's not gonna be complaining about like, should I hook back up and relevel because stuff settled. You mean and like then never doing it and then just sitting in misery in the RV. All you perfect. mean like the month that we were at Cook in Cookville? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like our second time setting this up. You want to go over the other side? Yeah. I guess these just go straight down. Those are sea jacks. You know, specific to travel trailer, and the rears our regular fifth wheel but electric well somebody's gonna see those go down and say hey you can't level your rig with that because that looks like the stabilizer ones but if you get close you can tell those things are yeah. beefy well, those three k so pieces just takes all of the weight up front uh -huh. and then that comes up which looks very strange for a travel trailer but not beyond anything the scariest part to me yeah i think that's the exact same ones we have actually yeah the 3.0 i'm curious if you guys feel a difference inside from what it felt oh like my goodness i'm sure we will because it's it felt different to me just like stepping into it. It's like you were prepping to be on a boat before. So is it a system you added to? <laughs> I didn't say that. Yes. Does that yeah. in my mouth? Did that? Yeah, like, uh, because we got rid of those other yeah. steps, now we have uh. extra storage that we've already messed with. So all of my blocks and stuff, instead of taking up premium space in the back of the truck or, the, or whatever, they're right there. Ride height and everything that went up a little bit. So we're like, we're in that between stage of do you need three steps or four? We're testing it out. We're going to see what we think. Is it JJ approved? What do you think, bud? Yeah. Let's see if it's JJ approved. What do you think? Mm. Look at that topper. So we went through a rainstorm already. It was more quiet. Yeah, that's that's a big perk of those. So The um, worst is if like your the head of your bed is like underneath that slide with no topper, which oh, yeah. we've done. <laughs> Other favorite thing. This is the screenshot. So it nice. like pulls the door Oh, it's closed. got tension on the screen. Yeah. Oh. Most favorite. Oh, yeah. New window. Before it was just that was pebbled, pebbled so you, glass. So you I had to like bend your head to look out that window under the kitchen cabinets. Uh -huh. uh, so we upgraded from 4,400 pound axles to 5,200. And then disc so brakes. So 4,400 to 5,200 disc yep. brakes. Disc brakes, um, reinforced hangers, uh, and then the new road armor um, equalizers. <laughs> Jump, buddy! Whoa! He just lifts one foot and pounds. We also just pulled in, so we normally don't have all this crap all over our floor. <laughs> FYI, thanks, Nathan. <laughs> this is, yeah, this Travel is looking around with the pizza. Yeah, waters. Ottoman just laying in the kitchen. Yeah, way more stable in here. And then what you'll see a lot with really any RV, sometimes you start to sort of sink to one side or the other. Sometimes after you sit for a while, if you're not on like a concrete pad or even like gravel. And they can they can adjust that as needed without having to like totally hook back up and move the trailer and get it back up on the levelers and all that mess. Now we're just showing the outside of the first rig with Finding Our Someday, which they're also on YouTube. Uh, the second full time RVer is actually on YouTube as well as Project Trek. Uh, Christian and Nate did an amazing job remodeling their RV. And I don't know about you guys, but like I like seeing new RVs, but like seeing the inside of a remodeled RV, this is pretty cool. Essentially, we have the same rig we opposite. Do. 
opposite four flames. Yeah, we do. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so we have an open range as well, and our bunk room is in the rear, and their bunk room is in the front. So it's the same rig, vice versa layout, which right. is super cool. I love this layout. From the factory, this was a U-shaped lounge. And I think the previous owner... So there's the giant you that did the whole thing? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We decided that we wanted to kind of create a sitting space that allowed us to get cozy on rainy days. Because not every day is perfect when you're RVing. So we wanted to have a space... You're going to hold that drink the whole time? That's no, I'm so no, no, I like it. No, I was really good. <laughs> I'm just very casual. Was great. Okay. Uh, everybody's probably washing the water like, when's it going to switch? Because she's so animated. <laughs> I like it. They do that. <laughs> They'll comment on it too. It gonna gonna go? I want to see you hold it to see how long it makes it. <laughs> or are you just teasing yeah, it? Right. All right. We wanted to have a really nice cozy home environment so we decided to put in a home reserve couch and the benefits of the home reserve couch is that you have the additional storage um, which we thought would be really nice some people like Marissa Moss <laughs> 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 she needs that comfort, I so did, she girl. needs that nice leather couch. Me, <laughs> I'm utilitarian. The storage is everything. Oh, she's gonna wish we had that one. That's, that's the what kids get a hold of. Utilitarian. Yeah, yeah. Utilitarian. Um, so we went ahead and replaced the couch. You custom make these, right? The home yeah. The, the home reserve. There. The cool thing about them is um, you can modify, and they are really sold in these like sections and you can kind of put together whatever you want it's really beneficial for an rv um because you can also get them in boxes and then put them get together inside this is not a home reserve infomercial I <laughs> <laughs> um so aside from the couch we really wanted a space that we could eat dinner every night as a family um so we wanted to stick with a nice table the cool thing about this table is that you can make it and adjust the size to make it as long or as short as you want. And I liked that. So if we, for some reason, needed more space. Because you have two kids. That's in case you have more kids. Right. We have saying? two. Yeah. We have two kids. Um, we, <laughs> <laughs> we don't RV alone. <laughs> not yet. Van life is not yet. So we have two. We have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. And okay. we wanted to create a space where they could kind of like squeeze in the back. And we could like pull out the table and... Um, it works really well. Works really well. Where's for it from? Us. This is from IKEA. IKEA, okay. And I love these. This is a really intimidating thing in the RV world because a lot of people don't realize that you are not. Um, you can actually replace your lights with regular residential lights. It's actually the bulb that makes the biggest difference. So you can actually find something on Amazon that you like. And as long as it works well in your space, you can kind of do whatever you want. So use residential, just get the 12 volt DC bulb. Yeah, and residential we, fixture. Yeah, because you know what we're going to be doing now, right? Oh, <laughs> just goodness. saying. I, and these don't, I asked, my no. question was the swinging, because I love when people were replaced with these. So the slide, lights. the kitchen slide comes in to right about here, and then the living room slide comes in to right about here. See, and there is a little bit of play in it, but not enough to damage yeah. anything. It's this a, is wicker. It's so a it's... basket, so it's got it's it's light enough to where even if it does swing, it's not damaging anything. And um, these are IKEA as well. <laughs> yes, yeah. this is IKEA. Okay. <laughs> I'm putting that on my shopping list. Um, <laughs> and then of course I've got a love hate with these tours. So. <laughs> I, know, right? I get all kinds of yeah. ideas. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, we also replaced these lights because normally you've got the RV dome lights. Yeah. These are we got on Amazon, and again, these don't move at all, but they have the right light bulb in them. That's the key. When we got this rig, it had the uh, the standard uh, rollout vinyl flooring, um, and then carpet everywhere. And one thing we've just never liked about RVs is carpeting, just because every square inch of your RV gets trafficked almost every day and that carpet holds a lot of debris. So we switched everything to the vinyl plank and it was actually a really easy install. It took a while, it was tedious, but it was, it was a very easy and simple install. Uh, we replaced all the carpeting except for maybe in the closets um, to the vinyl plank. And I, I think I think I did a very nice job. <laughs> I, think I think you it did came a good really job. Nice. No, you just get a rug. So you got the flat. thicker planks and you went and found, is that laminate? Yeah, we did vinyl, found... vinyl plank flooring all the way up to here and then just, we found similar yeah, that's okay. textured yeah. uh, vinyl rolling, yeah. uh, vinyl sheet flooring that we just made a flap from. Is that, how, how's that attached underneath there? <laughs> Or did we not? Is I did. Secret? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I did a curve cut on the table saw 
along the length so there's like an indention on the bottom which gave gave me room okay. for this okay and then it's put on with uh like flexible actual shoe adhesive okay <laughs> uh that way it, it retains some of its flexibility and then over here with the open shelving there was in this rig initially a large microwave mm -hmm. that took up a majority of this space um so we decided to remove the microwave um, update our RV oven so that we could have like fast heating and instead go with an open shelf concept. And the reason I wanted this was because I wanted a little bit of our personality in our RV. Um, the, our RV is our home. And so I wanted it to reflect a little bit of our personal style and it opened up so much space. Uh, on the way up into the kids' bunk room, uh, you can see where we took advantage of some more of the, the live edge, that incredibly affordable live edge. So, and we did create some storage oh, cool, underneath. Yeah. So you created, and there, originally there was nothing like that storage-wise underneath this. You created that? Correct, correct. Yeah. It was just all empty space, and it was, it was frustrating to see all that space and not be able to use it. And that's pretty common on a fifth wheel. If you've got the cargo to do it, like if you start opening stuff up, there's an oh, insane, all... oh, there's space all back in there. Yeah. <laughs> There were two jackknife sofas on each side and I, th I think the idea was to take you could take another family camping with you because there would be two uh queen size beds in here and then uh, a separate half bath but what we ended up doing was we took out the jackknife sofas and i just put this plywood facing up and i kind of got the inspiration from like the japanese micro hotels or the uh, like the the airport hotel capsules, mm -hmm. but that's cool. Basically, I just put the the sheet of plywood up and cut out these rounded holes, um, and the kids they love it. They love it. They get a little bit of privacy behind here, so they don't have to stare at each other when they go to sleep. But uh, we put in some custom shelves for them to hold their water bottles and some some special knickknacks. Uh, and then over here, um, I did a kind of a craft area. Uh, my daughter loves art and crafting and all that stuff. So we gave her a custom desk and a little pegboard to hold her craft stuff. And this was originally, what, a refrigerator? What yeah. was under here? There was a, a mini fridge and a, a three-drawer bank uh, over here. And there was actually a false wall right here. So once we took that stuff out, we realized there was about another extra foot to a foot and a half. So I took that out, and it, gave, it made the space much deeper. Yeah, this is for our son. So I made him... Because she got her, her hobby area, we did a, uh, a Lego lap desk. And this is removable, so that can come out mm -hmm. and go onto the ground if he wants to play there. Some of his Legos are up here, but then each kid got uh, toy storage underneath their, underneath their loft bed. Um, and it's actually worked out really nice to where, you know, they have almost 80 square feet of play space here. And the toys don't make it out into the living area, which was a huge difference from our our class A setup, um, so it, it's worked out great where their mess stays in here and we don't have to worry about it. I like that. Can you climb that, babe? That's cool. I could, but it would not be graceful. That would be pretty. So these, JJ would be in here. This is surprisingly sturdy. Uh, I was kind of questioning, <laughs> like, could it hold all that weight? I mean, this this is only half inch plywood, but we we bolted it to the aluminum frame of the slide, so. It, yeah. it holds really well. You like the full length mirror? Yeah, I haven't seen what I look like in years. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you just changed the slide covers out. Was that pretty easy to do? It was very easy. So we removed the molding and we got some uh, pine board that we were able to stain. And Nathan, my Nathan, <laughs> he um, was able to just go right into the metal studs of the slide. And it was a very easy modification that I think I had sort of overcomplicated in my head. But once it was done, it was, I mean, it makes such a big difference. Yeah, it totally changes the space. And someone once told me they tried to just paint it 
and they wish they would have just replaced it because it would have been much easier just to replace it instead of the way it looked painted. If you can incorporate the natural wood color in an RV, mm -hmm. I feel like it makes the RV a little more stand out because when you start painting things, there's going to be natural just imperfections that are brought out by paint. So we wanted to keep our cabinets the same. We didn't want to paint those. And I feel like sort of switching out the lighting, switching out the molding, doing some of the other modifications gave us the opportunity to keep the cabinets as they are and keep the integrity of the cabinets. Because once you start painting those, I feel like it compromises the integrity a little bit. Just by replacing the hardware instead of painting all the cabinets, it just, yeah, I like it. And then totally. you just ch made everything else kind of white. I like it. Yeah. We replaced all of the faucets in our RV along with um, both bathrooms got new bowls. I thought that that was going to be a little more complicated. I didn't do it. Nate did it, but he looked like he was having a time. <laughs> is that, would you say that that's well, it true? It wasn't too bad. Because yeah. uh, this is all residential stuff, right? You're just swapping yeah. all yeah. residential just stuff. Just so people know, they may think they need an RV faucet. Right. But, yeah. And when you buy those things and inside the package are O-rings, all of them are supposed to be used because I didn't use all of them. I thought they were extras. <laughs> I pressurized the system and I had three simultaneous leaks that were just like spraying. <laughs> so, use all the O-rings. So you went all in. You swapped all three and just had a nice little show. Yeah, there, right? right? <laughs> <laughs>
stained, sand, and installed, and I really love it. So thank you, Finding Our Someday. Thank you, Project Trek, for letting us uh, tour your RVs. Uh, if you want to see more from Finding Our Someday, we'll link to there. Now, if you want to see the full tour from Project Trek, where they're going to show the under storage of this RV and just all kinds of stuff we didn't get to, but like it's it's really cool. So definitely go to their channel, check it out, and you can see even more. And then there's also in-depth videos on like the stove install, the bunk room, um, so all kinds of stuff on their channel about that. Thank you guys for allowing us into your homes this week. We hope you all have a great week.